What's up guys? This is gonna be a rambly, talky video. It's just gonna be a life update. The last time you saw me, I was doing vlogs showing you my life as a second year medical student. That had to stop. I couldn't do it anymore. And I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, a little bit about me. My name is Nora Dean, third year medical student studying in the UK. I make TikTok videos, I post on Instagram, and I am making YouTube videos as well. I was doing YouTube videos for a while, but uni got too much for me. It got to a point where I hated YouTube. I hated making videos. I was putting so much pressure on myself to pump out video after video. I just couldn't do it. What with uni, there's just so much to learn. As you go on through the years of medicine, it just piles on. Every year you have to learn what you learned the year before. I tried to make a goal of two videos a week. It was a good goal to strive for. I learned it off Ali Abdel, one of the greatest YouTubers, my biggest inspirations. This guy, in fifth year of his Cambridge medical degree was making two videos a week. If you know the amount of effort that goes into video making, fifth year is one of the busiest times you're applying for jobs. You know, you've got all this portfolio stuff that you're doing. Honestly, mashallah. It put me down because I was struggling to do that in second year. There's a lot of reasons why that is. Maybe I'm less organized. He had done most of his work and was just chilling. That's just how life is. Some things just aren't meant to be when you want them to be. I stopped YouTube and I took a break and it was Ramadan anyway. I always take Ramadan off of whatever I do. It's a good time to just reflect on your life, uh, remove any bad habits and just change things for the better. Alhamdulillah, I had a great Ramadan, spent most of it at uni, managed to quit some bad habits. One of the most important things, it gave me clarity in my brain. And I realized that if I'm struggling to make YouTube videos in second year, then how is it gonna be in third year when the going really gets tough? I spoke to my brother about this, who is Life of Omar B. He went through the same thing I went through. He tried to make a YouTube account, found that it was too difficult to edit and everything with medicine. But he moved to TikTok. I decided to give it a try. After Ramadan finished, I went on TikTok and I just started making videos about random stuff, really. I thought I would take over the medical student niche, but it was so saturated. And I made video after video. I made drinks videos, I made caffeine videos, I made self-improvement videos, like anything you could think of. Travel vlogs, work vlogs, everything. Sometimes videos would stick, sometimes they wouldn't. I persevered, I was consistent. Consistency is so important. So I made about two videos a week until it hit about exam season. In exam season, like, especially for the written exams, I had a lot of work to do. So I just stopped making videos, maybe one every three days. It was very minimal. As soon as my exam was finished, I was at a crossroads. I'm done for uni, so what on earth do I do now? I can't make medical student content. I'm not a medical student, I'm currently home for summer. I had my graduation, finally graduated from my other uni, University of Leicester. I did neuroscience there, starting 2016 to 2020. Covid happened, so graduation was pushed forward by two years. Yes, two years. Anyway, finally graduated. It was really nice seeing everybody wearing the gown. Got some pictures. I took a week off for graduation. When I came back, I had a few days where I was just low-key depressed. I was just low. I was moping around. I didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't even making videos at that point. It always happens to me when I have no goal, when I have no purpose. I just drift aimlessly through time like a piece of driftwood in a river going nowhere at all. It's probably going to get lodged under a tree or something like useless, basically. That's how I felt lost and i always get that when i have no goal in mind what i did was book work a lot of people hate their job i don't love my job but it keeps me sane if i were just to sit there with no work and no way of getting money i would just turn into dust burn up i don't know what i'd do i just can't function without some kind of thing to occupy me to drive me to push me onwards that's just how i am so when i booked work oh, i felt so much better i just booked four shifts in that, in that week three night shifts 12 hours one nine hour day shift and i just felt amazing alhamdulillah i feel good now i realized that i'm gonna be working a lot now why don't i just make videos about what i see at work i work as a healthcare assistant hospital and hospitals are a really funny place they're like mini cities like 
you have everything you have your security you have your king your queen you have every ward is like a country the patients are like the population the staff are like the government it's just really weird being in a hospital there are certain things that only make sense when you work in hospital i started making hospital content and then i started making vlogs slowly my videos started to hit it off i found my niche on tiktok finally hospital stuff who would have thought once i found my niche i managed to hit a thousand followers EP. that now means i am entitled to like sell stuff on tiktok and things like that which is really cool but when i hit that thousand on tiktok i was like okay so now i know what i'm doing all i need to do crank out three videos in my niche every single day inshallah i'll make it it's like that you spend months finding your niche and optimizing it until you have it and then you just crank out content fast as you can and then that low self-esteem depressive mood thinking came back like oh is that all you're gonna do now just make three videos it'll take me an hour to make those videos like three videos a day oh my god what are you gonna do with the rest of your time like oh so i spoke to my brother about it again he's like my advisor i walked in while i'm my brother doing something crazy filming himself eating noodles and he was filming youtube video of him trying the spoiled spiciest noodles he asked me to try them and i tried them and <coughs> i was fine i wasn't it was so spicy he told me he was restarting his youtube because he's off for summer and he can and i thought Ah, that would be a good idea actually yeah I think simply splendid i went by the river because it helps me think you know being in nature and trees and oxygen and stuff and i just sat there and i and i thought like i really hated youtube before i thought about what really went wrong so the reason i felt so burnt out was because i was making vlogs if you know anything about vlogs vlogs are your whole day put together in bunches of clips and it's very easy to overshare you will literally film like minutes and hours of you doing stuff you just want all of it to be in there and it's so draining going through it all and deleting content you don't want to be in. it's like when you write an essay and you have to delete part of an essay my old tutor he used to say it was called killing your darlings and yeah when you have to trim a bit of an essay you're killing your darlings he used to say go and kill your darlings because you don't want to kill your darlings but you have to kill your darlings so that's the situation. Vlogs were just burning me out. So I decided I'm not gonna do vlogs anymore. I'm sorry guys. For those of you that enjoyed the vlogs, you can go on my TikTok and you can see a vlog in like seven seconds and that'll just save you five minutes. I'm actually doing you a favor here. But if you wanna go on YouTube and watch a guy who has been through some stuff in his life, talk about how he overcame it, you're in the right place. That's what we're doing now. I decided that I have learnt a lot of stuff in the past. By no means am I an expert on anything except maybe getting over heartbreak. But like what I'm trying to say is that if you are trying to learn stuff that they don't teach you in school, you might not read in books, you definitely won't learn from other people, then you are in the right place. I am gonna share the culmination of everything I have ever learned in my life here anything that helped me become a good doctor everything i learned working as a healthcare assistant for six years what i learned living in syria during the war going to two different unis making friends in every place i go how i became confident how i'm able to talk so much rubbish but kind of make sense at the same time the truth behind these facial expressions whatever i know i am gonna put in these videos and that is it that is all and i would love to hear what you want to hear about what is it you want to know let me know please down in the comments reach out to me instagram uh, tiktok whatever you want to reach out to me on email send me a letter if you want pigeon mail carry a pigeon whatever you want to do like reach out to me i'm gonna try and help you and end this note on just like where am i going with this what's the future in the future my plan is just to carry on with tiktok no matter what that is my current goal with youtube i'm gonna see how it goes when i get into third year but tiktok will be carried on because frankly i found my niche and the hard work is done if i can carry on youtube then great if i can't we'll see how it goes and that is that that is the end of the video if you like this sort of content don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Nordin. I'll see you later.